We talk a lot about uh, the idea of the mental game and playing, and certainly on the golf course, we have fear and anxiety, and, and, and you know that as a, as a great instructor. But I want to ask you about when you're giving golf lessons now, you know, uh, to all these different, you've worked with tour players that have won, you, you've worked with the basic uh, beginner. How important is their state they're in during a lesson? Very important and really good topic, Rick. Uh, I find that players come in really anticipating, kind of like when you go to the doctor and something's wrong and you don't really know and you're a little embarrassed and you don't feel great. Their state matters a ton because we know how much state influences performance. And if they come in and they're anxious and anticipating that I'm judging and I'm going to be really overly critical of what they do, yeah. they're not going to give me much freedom and really good output of golf swings. So I see it all the time where I feel like a big part of my job in the first 10 minutes is to let everybody know that I'm not one of your judging folks that you have to be scared to hit a bad shot in front of. Right. I've seen it all. I'll see it all again. Mm -hmm. We've all hit bad golf shots. And no, it definitely influences the success of a lesson. Definitely. And so we know that that state can affect their tension level, right? No the doubt. grip pressure and just yep. how they do that. And, and I think it gets in the way of their learning.